Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer here to kick off Group C. And to kick off Group C we got this fight card for this session. We'll see two rookies going at each other in Team Argentina and Mr. Ferry. We'll have former semi-finalist Cayman Rider Chimera taking on Kaz. And well, if you need motivation to stay tuned to the end of this session, just have a look at our main event of this evening. As it is, the finalist from last year, Navan, taking a crack at Dino Smash. But up first, we will see another debutant in Ravgrum going up against Silver Knights, a debutant from last year. Ooh, we're in the Colosseum. Right, in the red corner for Ravgrum, making a tournament debut, we have got an Acrocamphosaurus. And it is Blitz type, so he will start with two paint crits. But I do feel like this is going to be a tough match for him. In the blue corner, representing Silver Knights, we have got Uteraptor. During a debut tournament season last year, Silver Knights did get to the last 32. So I'm sure they'll be looking to get out of this group again. And given how open I feel this group is, I think they got a really good chance of not just getting out of the group, but topping the group. And if you top the group, you will on paper get an easier matchup. I mean, I say on paper because it doesn't work like that in year, does it? Let's be honest. Oh, that's the dream start from the rookie getting the crit. The blitz effect there, gonna tap it again. Oh, he got it again! That's two crits in a row and a flare sword to boot. This is a strong start from Uravgrim. The blitz type effect paying off handsomely. Hey, oh, he killed it! Um, well, it was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> well, that's what Blitz types can do for you folks. But there'll be no more going for crits for the Acro now. Right, representing Silver Knights for their second I know is Penticeratops. Not as many Penticeratopses this year, which is quite surprising. It's a very solid addition to your team. And well, he's going to have to pull his weight here because the Uteraptor went down like a lead brick. It's a tie. Now this Acro does have Move Breaker as well, so... It's an interesting move set that this Acro has, given that it's a Blitz type. It doesn't really seem built to benefit from it that much, but it's benefited from it so far. Yeah, I, I think Silver Knights is feeling a bit shaken at the moment as to what's just happened. The Uteraptor just went down so quick. And Ravgrim is having a really dominant start so far. Could this be a 3-0? Well, I, I wouldn't count Silver at Knights out yet because they got the Dino Tector in the end. We all know Dino Tectors can swing the outcome of a match. Well, he's going to need a big swing here because this Acro is looking unstoppable. Right, for Silver Knight's third Dino, we have got Spiny Dino Tector. And well, for Silver Knight's for coming back into this match and win, they're going to have to pull off something with this Spiny Tector. It's got the moveset, it's got the armor, it can definitely be done. And it's got type advantage as well. It can, you know, can, they can come back. But it is looking really bleak for Silver Knights. They just cannot get a hit. And they finally get one on the board. And it's a four. Oh, hello. We got a shockwave. A much needed shockwave there from Silver Knights finally getting a, throwing a punch in this match. Right, then that means that Silver Knights will be going for a crit. You can't go rock, but you can go paint scissors. Ooh, the move breaker there removing the Futaba cannon. And Acro still gets the hit and the final fury. Okay, but there, there's the type of vantage paying dividends there. Spino, spiny taking limited damage. Ooh, but Spiny does get the next hit. I think that'll be curtains for Acro, and it is. 
So Ravgrim is not going to win 3 now. But coming in next, we have got a Super Kamarasaurus. A dinosaur that I used to use, that I used before in tournaments. With uh, mixed success, we shall say. Awaker mode on 3, he's got the Dino Swing, he's got the Water Sword, he's got the Ocean Panic. Ocean Panic could be key here. You know, it will limit Silver Knights' options. But that Dino Tech the Bar is filling up and the random number generator is being very slow. I have to pause it. <laughs> ah, there we go. Four. Four. And five. Ooh. Another alpha dice. Oh, bless it. It's only a one. <laughs> kind of sums up Silver Knight's fortunes in this match. But a shockwave will definitely help. Right, that's once. Ooh, Spino will be go Spiny will be going for paper. And getting it. And the bar is filled, filled up as well. Oh, it's a six. Are we going to have another Dino Tech to come back? Oh, jeez, look at that. Ooh, that could be a big shockwave, but... Okay, that's twice. But because that was consecutive shockwaves, move removal rules will not take effect yet. So, because it was consecutive shockwaves, no, no move removal rules will take place. Moves will be generated like normal. But this could be the break that Silver Knights needed. Right, let's see. Oh, you can't go paper. Stop going paper. Right, you gotta go scissors. Oh, well, it's kind of a waste, to be honest. <laughs> but, you know, I'm sure Silver Knights won't complain. They'll take it. Spino Tech again. I hit the Spiny Tech, I should say. And all of a sudden now, things not looking so hot for a Ravgrum. Right, for the third and final dinosaur, we got the Alpha Aranosaurus. Poison type, I believe. Got the two platoon crush, and he might need that two platoon crush to seal the deal here. Because Silver Knights is coming right back into this contest. Look at this! And now, from nowhere, Silver Knights has the lead. And that probably secures the losing bonus point as well. But Silver Knights wants more, and he's gonna get more! What a comeback from Silver Knights after a really shaky start. They finally got the better of Aravgrum. Wow, we're getting some comebacks in this tournament, aren't we? Armoured dinosaurs really playing a role. As for Ravgrim, you know, they put up a really good fight. But Silver Knights and Spiny Tector got it done in the end. Right, on to our next matchup. Right the ho then. In the blue corner. Red corner, sorry. Representing Cayman Rider Chimera. Formerly known as Xenoslick Goku. We have Paki Rhinosaurus. Now, Pac Man Saw is surprisingly seen a lot of play in this tournament. Really interesting. This guy is heroic type. And we are on the volcano field, which makes things interesting. And he'll have the type advantage against this Joe Borrier of Kaz's. Kaz making a tournament debut here. They did take part in the Champions Tournament in the summer. And I don't think they got they qualified. We'll see what they can do here. This Joe Warrior is heroic type as well, which is good for it because, you know, it's got a rock crit against a paper crit. Ooh, he's, if I can tap it right. <laughs> we got a tie. Ooh, Joe Warrior gets the first hit on the board. It's not going to be much of a hit, but he gets a hit. Probably needs to hit with a crit to do damage. The Paki Rhinosaur is not letting that happen. And wow, even with the heroic and the type advantage buff, that was little damage there. Just shows that all the power in Paki Rhinosaurus is in the crit. But Paki Rhinosaurus does get another hit. 
This is a, ste this is a steady start from Cayman Rider. Get an electric charge as well. I'll definitely help. I think for Kaz, they'll probably want to move on to their second Dino. You know, hope for a better outcome because this Jilboria just can't seem to lay a dent on the Pachyrhinosaurus. Ooh, till now. Uh, this will be interesting. He's got the he's got the heroic buff, but he does have type disadvantage. Let's see how much damage it does. Ooh, wow! Oh, hang on a minute. It's a freaking Aqua Javelin. Wow! So much for type advantage. Well, it's not doom and gloom for Cayman, though, because this Eocarcaria will get a hit courtesy of terrain advantage, since we're in the volcano field. It's a guy! So, wow, I, that came out of nowhere. So, even though Joe Boria will have the type advantage here, I don't think it's going to survive this Dino's this uh, next upcoming move, and it won't. Dino Yeetage, which is an interesting choice for Eocark area. Badoosh. But wow! Joe Boria really pulling its weight. Right. Okay, you're the normal Ferrazinosaur. I thought you were super for a second then. <laughs> we got our normal Ferrazinosaur here. I think you're counter type. Coming in for Kaz. Now you have to say the Jorboria, fair dues to it. It had type disadvantage. It got off a Hydro Cutter and an Aqua Javelin and killed the Patty Rhinosaurus in one hit. Just shows how powerful a crit can be. And Jorboria has a decent crit, but it's, you know, not the strongest crit in the world. Hmm, we're an interesting crossroads here. This match could definitely swing either way. Ooh, but the fairy gets the first hit. Snap! Elemental power as well, that will come in handy. Will come in handy to survive some damage from this hit. Ooh, that's a flare sword. Eocarcaria speciality, that. Good response there from Cayman. Both of these guys trading blows back and forth. This has been a really enticing contest. Ooh, but Cayman does get the next hit on the board. Is he turning the screw? And all the more while, that bar is filling up as the Therizinosaurus bites the dust. Hmm. Now Kaz is in a bit of a pickle because up next we've got Alpha Kazmosaurus. But that's the least of his worries. He could have a Mega Armor to worry about at this rate. And that is not a good sign. So if this Kazmosaurus really has to pull its weight here. not good. That's not good at all. Has Cayman Rider turned the screw on this match? I think he has. Oh, oh, no, no Omega Armor yet. But Pat Kazmosaurus needs this hit. Oh, doesn't get it, but the Dino Stuffer. I'm sure he would have liked to save it for when he really needed it, but, you know, at least it's there. It's not all lost for Cayman. Gets the Omega Armor. Oh, now Cayman Rider is on in the driving seat. Now Kaz is in big, big trouble because he's probably going to need two hits. Okay, that's a tie. I still think he's going to need two hits to kill Eocock area. Oh, he's not even going to get one. That's the bonus point win secured for Cayman Rider Chimera. And in the end, Omega Eocarcaria made the difference. As for Kaz, well, you know, they got that big hit off with the Joboria, but other than that, didn't really offer much in, a, in an offensive state, in all honesty. And it is a pretty comfortable win in the end for Cayman Rider. 
Boosh. Boosh. A bonus point win, that is. Righty-ho. Let's move on to our third match. A clash of the rookies. Okie dokie. In the red corner for Team South America. Team Argentina, sorry. <laughs> Again, it makes that. We got Mapusaurus. Making an official debut here. And no, this is not a bot team. This is a real person. In the blue corner. Representing Mr. Ferry for their tournament debut. We've got T-Rex. Going to have a clash of some gold fires to start with. It's going to be a very interesting match. Can't really decide who has the edge here. Maybe... Team Argentina, Carnotaurus, Alpha Guanadon. It's hard to say. We'll have to see how this plays out. Because if the T-Rex gets the lead, then, you know, that type advantage becomes a type disadvantage. Well, Mapusaurus landing the first blow there. Good start from Team Argentina. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's a crit. And that's a reform crit as well, so that's going to do extra damage. But the death fire has been triggered. And at the minute, Mr. Ferry could do with that death fire. Ooh, he doesn't get it. Team Argentina dodges the bullet there. And this strong start continues, but... A crit, and a big crit from the T-Rex. And we all know how hard T-Rex can hit in this game. Look at that! One hit, and we're pretty much level packing. Well, we're not level packing anymore. Despite a strong start from Team Argentina, it is Mr. Ferry in the lead. Now things get interesting here because up next for Team Argentina is Carnotaurus. It is attack type, but if the T-Rex can get hit on this Carnotaurus, that will help Mr. Ferry extend their lead in this match. So for me, Team Argentina gotta be careful here. They can't afford to get hit by this T-Rex. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. This is going to do a lot of damage. Even though it's not a crit, they need to get some damage in on this T-Rex and quick. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, no. Big impacts from the T-Rex making the difference here. And Mr. Ferry has really stolen this match's momentum. And quick as a wink. It's all up to Salty Saurus. And Team Argentina in big, big trouble. But we won't count them out yet. Because this Salty Saurus can hit very hard. But it's going to be a big ass to come back now. That's what happens, you let the T-Rex get hit, it can run away with you! Oh, oof. Crikey, that Dino stuff are coming in clutch. Mr. Ferry, they can win 3-0, yeah? Boy, this is going. Stop going rock! Like, stop going rock, you couldn't let him get a crit! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I think, is this gonna be a 3-0 whitewash for Mr. Ferry? Team Argentina just can't stop going rock. All right, there we go. He's gone scissors. Oh, <laughs> the T-Rex goes rock. Of course it does. <laughs> okay, an Aqua Vortex. But, yeah, I think they're done. I think this is going to be a bonus point win. Oh, but it's not going to be a 3-0 win. Mr. Ferry's T-Rex finally goes down, but it's definitely la lay, lay down its wrath upon Team Argentina. Right, for Mr. Ferry's second Dino, we got uh, Alpha Iguanodon. 
It's a guy. Well, it looked promising for Team Argentina early on, but the T-Rex getting the crits. Massive difference. And then since then it's been all T it's been all Mr. Fairy. But it can change very quickly. We all know that. For those of you that have watched my tournaments long enough. You know things can change in a snap. Ooh, but they're not going to change today. That will surely be that for Team Argentina. And it'll be Mr. Fairy claiming the bonus point victory. Well, you have to say, in the end, the difference was the crits. That was the difference. And we've seen it. We've seen it time and time before. An even match, and then one guy gets like a couple of big hits, and then all of a sudden, it's not one. It's not uh, even. Right. It is time for our main event. Oh, we're on the beach field, which is very good news if you are Navan, because in the red coat representing Navan is Aloatrox. This Aloatrox will get the first hit in this match because of the terrain advantage. Uh, we don't have any blitz types in this matchup. Right, representing Dino Smash in the blue corner, we got Taurosaurus. It's gone attack type. That stomping hammer could stomp that Atrox into the dirt. So that means Atrox will be getting a paper head. Where's your to your king? So it'll be a good start from our runner up from last year. Let's have a look. Okay, it's a free. In the middle. In the middle. Ooh, that's not a good start, though. The stomping hammer is going to do a lot of damage. Navan going to feel the pain from this one. Look at that. Atrox's health is cut in half, courtesy of Taurosaurus. Ooh, but Halo Atrox does respond with a hit. And this time, it's a four. Ooh, Taurosaurus does get the next hit. Well, it's two hits apiece, but Dino Smash does have the slight lead. And I think that's going to be curtains for Allosaurus Atrox. Taurosaurus will also have the attack boost as well. Right, coming in for Nirvan's second dinosaur, we've got Super T-Rex. Well, we haven't seen this often from the farm. In a bit of a pickup. I mean, it's early days, yeah. Lot can change. The Awaken mode on two. Why is your your king? Now, Navan did win nine matches in a row last year to get to that final in a fairy tale run for the newcomer. Before being defeated by the. Uh, Champ Master Ship. Tight. They were 5 out of 5 in the group stage. The Dino Smash definitely giving them a good test so far. Okay, there it is. Down goes Taurosaurus. And the Van strikes back. Right, now things get interesting, because for Dino Smash's second Dino, we got Omega Eocarcaria. Now, we've seen this move set from Dino Smash before. I think he used it with Ferrazinosaurus. And it had uh, mixed results, so we'll see how it plays out on Eocarcaria. Tight. The bar will fill up all the more vile. Ooh, Eocarcaria lands the first hit. Here it comes. Attack boost, defense boost, technique boost. 
This is why I limited these three moves to one in this tournament. <laughs> Right, that's once. Ooh, another hit. I think that might actually be lethal for T-Rex. Dino Smash looking really good so far. Okay, me okay, it's not. And here it comes. Elementor, Fusion. <laughs> Well, can Navan get the hit? We've seen this before from Navan last year. Where they get into a pickle, but they get the big hit. Oh, it's a tie, but I think T-Rex will survive. Oh, he doesn't get the hit! How crucial could that be? That could be crucial! Because now, all of a sudden... Eocarcaria maxed up offensively and defensively. Going up against this Alpha Super Minus, and Navan is in trouble here. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tie, but that's only gonna suit Dino Smash. Ooh. Super Minus gets a hit, but yeah, look at the little damage dealt there. This Eocarcaria is a health tank. Ooh, that's what he needs though, a crit. Navan not going down without a fight. That's what he needed, much more like it from Navan. It's a tie, but you know what that means. It's Omega Armor time. Jakama Omega! What an opportunity for Dino Smasher if they can get this next hit. Oh, he doesn't! Oh, hang on, it's ACT Rocket. Will it come down straight away? If it does, the Eocarcaria is down. But if it doesn't, and Dino Smash has another opportunity to get that kill shot. Oh, it doesn't. How costly could this be? Okay, okay, he got away with that one. <laughs> and actually... Oh, wow, it didn't even kill it. Okay, there it is, though. Down goes the Ogarkaria and, well, Navan surviving an absolute scare. And that's the Dino Smash. Opportunity missed. Right, for the third Dino, we got Euoplocephalus. And now, I feel like things have come... Things have gone back to 50-50. Nirvana's wrestled back into this contest. And what a main event this has turned out to be. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, the Vutama Cannon! Is Navan gonna do it again? Getting the big hits when it matters. Oh wow, that was a big hit. And all of a sudden now, Dino Smash is in trouble. Oof. Needed that hit there to steady the ship. Because Navan was definitely on top in this last couple of exchanges. Wow, these two have been slugging at each other and both of them will leave this match with at least a losing bonus point. But both want so much more. Who has enough left in the tank? And it's Dino Smash! And Navan, for the first time ever, has suffered defeat in a group stage match at the hands of Dino Smash. And what a win for Dino Smash. Not taking down the runner-up from last year. Right, well, that was a really good main event. We will look at how our, the table stands after that, and we shall end the session. Mr. Ferry uh, and uh, Cayman Rider Chimera on four points after bonus point wins in their matches. 
Dino Smash with that massive victory over Navan on three. And then Silver Knight's getting off to a winning start coming from behind against Uravgrum. And then we have Navan picking up the losing bonus point against Dino Smash. And then these three poor saps pointless. A long way to go yet. <laughs> Nothing is decided in the first round, as they say. Definitely living up to the expectations, really is. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please, you know the drill by now. Until next time, ta-ta.